Hey guys, Elisa here. I have been revamping and working on my thank you mail. That is anybody who orders on my personal website, I send them out a little goodie in the mail. So I thought I would share it with you. Take a look. What does your thank you mail look like? Do you send thank you mail for anybody who orders off of your website? Let's take a look of what I've been working on when it comes to what I am sending to anybody who orders through my website. So what I have on my counter here is everything that is going into my customer thank you mail that ordered throughout January up until today. I have a system that I keep track of who I send it to and who I don't send it to. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So now you can see what's on the counter. I'm gonna tell you what it all is. So first I will grab my wrap card, front, back, personalized for myself, tells my story, has some pictures of family and incentive trips has information about my VIP and hosting and joining. We'll grab that. Then we'll grab a join host brochure. And then we'll grab our warmer incent of the month flyer with felt sample. Because this is felt, it is thin and will work with one stamp. And I am putting these in a particular order with this in the middle, so it's flatter when it goes through um, the machine at the, at the post office because when it's in the middle the flatter it is the less likely it they'll say you need more postage because it wasn't flat then we have a product sheet this month I have been implementing some Scentsy Wax Cash this was from a special I did as a fun thing for my customers helping me reach uh, annual sales award so that is going in all of my thank you mail this month if you want more information on that just ask me and then my business card my fun little business card i designed here so all of that plus a note i will hand write a note before i mail it out so that will go in here on top of it and then so i got the pile i got one already inside here so that will all go in here. And like I said, I put that warmer of the month flyer that has that sample on in the middle so it stays more flat. If it's on the outside, it could be questionable by the post office. And I know not all post offices are created equal. So now we've got an envelope. I then use washi tape. I have some stickers that I've made. I have a smelly sticker, some more washi tape on the front. I have this sticker that was made. Um, so I have a slew of stickers here that I use. Depending on what I put inside, I might switch it up a bit. So these are all of the stickers that I have right now that I'm using on my mail. I just grabbed a sheet of a smelly sticker, so something fun to smell on the outside. Got my Scentsy washi tape, tape you can find in the um, Consultant Success Store. So. Everybody this month is getting all of this that has ordered online. Depending on how much they order, I might throw in a scent circle as well. Now, if I throw in one of these, it will still fit inside of this envelope, but I will use a non-machinable 70 cent stamp because it will be thicker and it will be over one ounce. So you'll want to use that yellow butterfly non-machinable stamp. So this is what I've been working on for anybody who orders online through my website is getting some fun thank you mail. I like to make them bright. So you know how when you get birthday cards in the mail and you know it's a birthday card because it's in a particular type of envelope, it might be colored, it might be super bright, but you know it's not a bill. So I want my customers to see this coming and know that it's something fun and not something disappointing when they open their mailbox. So fun, bright colors. These envelopes I got on Amazon. These were from a, another um, consultant group and I made my uh, business cards. You got, again, your monthly flyer from the consultant store or warm of the month. You got your join brochure. So, 
Any questions, let me know. This is what I've been working on. So the way I track my orders and who I need to send a thank you mail to is super simple. There's probably a better way, but I'm always on the go. I'm always working from my phone and this is what works best for me. So what I do is every time I get an email that I have a PWS order, a personal um, website order, I open up my email, check see who it is. I then go to my workstation. I'll go to order history and then open up the coordinating name and order. Once I open that up, I open it fully so I can see their name, their address, and what they've ordered, and I take a screenshot with my phone. I then take that screenshot and I put it into an album that I have on my phone labeled thank you. So that way, when it's time to sit down and do all of my thank you mail, I just open up the thank you album and there's all the names, addresses, and orders, and everything they ordered all right there and ready to go. It works. It's what I do. So I do it. So whatever works for you, be consistent, stick with it, and I hope that you learned at least one thing today and can implement that into your business. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. So here be I sure to my like, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook, order history, Instagram, and Twitter at Slinger12. Don't forget order. to hit that bell. I'm going to open up her order, and then I'm going to take a screenshot. Then I will open it up in my photos. I will take that screenshot and I will add it to an album labeled thank you. And in this thank you album is where I will go back. I will open up that image of the screenshot that has the address and I'll use all these images in this thank you album to label my thank you mail.